two truths and a lie, but with math, can you spot the fake? First fact, folding a piece of paper always decreases its perimeter. As you can see, the unfolded paper has a longer outline than the folded one. This is true for paper of any shape, as long as you do a simple straight line fold, none of those complex origami techniques. Second fact, not only does the perimeter decrease, the area does as well, and it decreases by the exact same ratio. Here, both decrease by 20%, and if you fold it like this instead, both percentages change, but they're still the same. Just like the first fact, this works on paper of any shape. Third fact, a mathematician traps you on a large chessboard where you can only move up, down, left, or right, not diagonally. Your goal is to escape, but before you do, you must visit each square exactly once. Turns out, this is impossible. No matter which path you choose to take, you'll either miss a square or visit one twice. Pause now to think about which fact is fake. The third fact is true. Notice that if you're on a white square, you're forced to move to a black one and vice versa. So, since the starting square is white, the second square must be black. But this means the third square is white, meaning the fourth square is black, and so on. See the pattern? Regardless of the path taken, odd-numbered squares are white, and even-numbered squares are black. This means the white escape square must be odd-numbered. But if we were to visit all 64 squares once, the last square, the escape, would be even-numbered instead. We have a contradiction, therefore we can't visit every square. Here's another way to think about it. Near the end of your journey, you'll be left with two black squares and the white escape square. Going to either of these black squares will leave the other out of reach, so visiting both of them is impossible. The first fact about perimeter always decreasing is also true. Pay close attention to the perimeter as I make the fold. Now, to get to the new perimeter, we must remove this red portion and add in this green part. Notice that we subtract more than we gain, so the perimeter decreases. But why is the red length longer? Let's try another example. Can you see the pattern? The green length is always the fold line, and the red length is always connected to it. The green length is a straight line, the shortest distance between two points, so it's always shorter than the red length. Therefore, we always subtract more than we gain, so our perimeter decreases. The second fact, about area and perimeter, is false. In fact, it's so false, it took me a while to find a shape to use as an example. Pretty much any other shape will disprove the fact. 